Hi and welcome back. My name is Monica and today we're talking about five things that I do to improve my health and wellness that you might find helpful too. Getting my eggplant was definitely one of the biggest things on this list, but I have so many other things that I want to share with you guys. So let's get right into it. The first thing that I started doing to improve my health and wellness was stretching in the morning sun. There are two key factors to this, so stretching and the morning sun. There are so many benefits of stretching. It gets your blood flowing after a long night of sleep and not much movement. It boosts your energy and your mood. It releases tension from your muscles. And my favorite, it helps you eliminate waste from your body. But doing it in the morning sun makes it so much more effective. 10 to 15 minutes of morning sun really helps improve your mood and it also helps you regulate your internal clock which in turn will help you to sleep better it helps balance your cortisol and it's also just a natural source of vitamin D it just feels so good and it really gets me going for the rest of my day also I don't look directly at the Sun I usually close my eyes or I'll wear sunglasses so I'll go outside in the morning face the Sun and I'll start by doing a really big stretch and then I'll start moving my shoulders in one direction and then the other direction I'll roll my neck in one direction and then roll it back around in the other direction I swing my arms forward and then backward. I'll put my hands on my hips and swing them all the way around in a big circle. That really, really helps with stretching out my hips. And then I'll go side to side and really get my knees going. I'll bend over and touch the floor. I'll stretch each leg. And then I will even come inside and do some cat cows and just some really good yoga poses that I feel like really stretch my body out. Sometimes your body can feel a little stiff after sleep and I just love the way that doing this makes me feel. It has really become like the start of my day. Okay, the second thing has helped me a lot with my digestion and that is drinking water before coffee. After a long night of sleep, it's really important to rehydrate. Your body dehydrates overnight and drinking coffee on an empty stomach makes me feel really crappy. It's also very acidic, so it can give me a stomachache if I haven't drank anything or eaten a snack. Water helps you to kickstart your metabolism and get your digestion going. And drinking a large glass of water in the morning before coffee really offsets you from that further dehydration that you can get from drinking coffee that causes like dizziness and fatigue. This also helps me prevent that crash that you can get if you go straight for coffee. I personally think that room temperature water is better and just easier to drink. So I will wake up, go into the kitchen, pour a glass of water and let it sit for a little bit because I just, I just don't like cold water or ice. Okay, the third thing that I do to improve my health and wellness is to focus on eating whole foods. Focusing on whole foods really makes me feel my best. I try to minimize overly processed foods as much as I can. There are so many crazy ingredients being put into our foods these days. Things that are banned in other countries and pretty much everything we eat is processed in some way, shape, or form these days. So all you can really do is try your best. I always say to try to focus on the outside aisles of the grocery store because that is usually where you can find the least processed foods. These are just some of the things that I purchase week to week, kale, spinach, lemons, potatoes, Brussels sprouts, oats, beans, blueberries. I just really focus on making my meals around whole ingredients. But if you are buying something like chips or pasta, you can usually find things that have minimal ingredients. Like this pasta, for example, it is chickpea pasta and it has only one ingredient, which is chickpea flour. So that is something that I try to go for. This is what really makes my digestion and so many other things the best. And when your digestion is good, you're more likely to feel good. Okay, the fourth thing that I do to improve my health and wellness is to take daily walks. I literally feel incomplete if I do not take my walks. They are my time to unwind, no screens, no work, just taking in the sounds and the surroundings and just really decompressing. It so helps my mental state if I'm not having the best day or if I'm stressed or anxious in any way. And it helps so much with my digestion. I can literally feel the difference when I'm not walking enough. Walking improves your heart health. It can lower your blood sugar. It boosts your immune system. And it just really gets your blood flowing, especially if you're sitting down working all day. And as a plus, it burns calories. I try to go out on a walk for at least 30 minutes and I always feel so much better once I get back. Okay, and then the last thing I'm gonna talk about in today's video that I did to improve my health and wellness is EFT tapping for sleep. Good sleep is so important for so many things to go right in our bodies. And so many nights I feel like I just lay there and it takes a while for me to fall asleep and I'm thinking about things and my mind is wandering. So then I'll just look at my phone and that's all very frustrating when you're trying to get sleep. But since I started tapping, I have been so much more often able to just lay down and quickly fall asleep. 
Tapping on certain pressure points is essentially releasing stress from your body and lowering your cortisol so that it takes you from fight or flight mode to rest and digest. So what I do is I start by tapping on the sides of my hands and I'll tap for around 10 seconds on each pressure point. Then I'll go to my forehead for about 10 seconds. Then I'll go to underneath my eyes and then above my top lip. Then I'll go to my chin and then I'll go right under your arms, kind of where your bra strap would be on both sides. And then I do my wrists together. And the last point is right on your head. I will sometimes yawn at some point during this exercise, but almost always I will yawn when I get to the top of my head. There are different methods of doing this. Some people do affirmations during it, such as I am welcoming good sleep, but I find that I don't even need to do that. I just do the tapping on the pressure points and it works really well for me. There are tons of articles and videos on this, so if you're interested in learning more, just look up EFT tapping for sleep. Okay, that is it for this video. Let me know if you guys want a part two. There are so many other things that I have incorporated into my life to be and feel the best that I can. Let me know if you do any of these things or if you end up trying any of them or if you have any tips for me as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I will see you guys in my next video.